I'm Kendra from Redgate. I'm going to show you how SQL Monitor will help you see what is happening in TempDB. Now, when you are on the main page for a SQL Server instance, you will see that there is in the left, left navigation bar uh, an area where you can go down to see what's going on in TempDB. So we can see here at the top right, I have the last three hours of activity showing for this instance. And here is what has been going on in TempDB for this time. We've got a main graph, which is usage summary, but we'll also be able to go into other areas and kind of dig in to different things that we are curious about. On this main page on the graph, by default, you can see that we are graphing multiple types of things that might take up space in TempDB. There are internal objects, things like, hey, I did a sort. We needed to use some space in TempDB for that sort. Or maybe the version store, if we're using read committed snapshot isolation or snapshot isolation, which I'm huge fans of for optimistic locking. Or maybe there's old fashioned user objects, or maybe we've got mix extents that are taking up space in there. We can also uncheck different options here. So if I don't wanna display free space, I can do that. And let's take away that version store, which was taking away or taking up the most space there. Notice that as I select different options, the scale on the graph changes and adapts to the appropriate range for my time frame for the objects that are being displayed. So we can see that at this point in time, there is 3.93 gigs of user objects in TempDB. If we're looking at the version store, <laughs> there was a lot more version store usage going on there. Now, if we go to this session tab, we now have below the graph, the top sessions that we're using TempDB over this time period, and these are also graphed. If we hover over one of the lines in the graph, it will highlight the associated session below. And if we wanna know, hey, what was actually being run in this one, we can click on the line and it'll show us some information about the query that was run below that. You may be able to tell here that on this instance, most of the workload here is coming from SQL agent jobs there. If you want to look by program name directly, you could go directly to that tab as well and view, okay, let's graph things that are connected by program name over time. Similarly, you can do this for login. If you want to dig into that version store, Maybe I've got a lot of databases on this instance. TempDB is a shared area. Which database is using the most version store in TempDB? Well, we can see here that the Stack Overflow 2013 database, this is the blue one here. This is using the significant amount of version store over this time. When I uncheck that and look at MSDB, scale is much smaller there. Just a little bit of version store usage by MSDB. Now, finally, there is this files tab here where we can look at TempDB usage by file. Now, the default here, there's a little drop down here. The default here is all files. And depending on how many files you have in your TempDB, when you expand that drop down, you might see different things. We just have two TempDB files here. So when I'm looking at temp2, we can see that my usage here is under 10.5 gigs. When we go back to all files, notice that the scale changes. In this case, SQL Server was able to do a really good job equally distributing the usage across our two files in TempDB. Hope you've enjoyed this initial tour of TempDB and SQL Monitor. As the screen says, we would love to hear your feedback, so please do check it out. Let us know what you think. Bye, folks.